My name is Ferdinand Ofodile. I'm a plastic surgeon in New York, and I'm clinical professor of surgery at Columbia University. I've known Mr. Baze for many years. He's been a close friend. Ugochuku Nwokoro is my name, and I'm the deputy mayor of the city of Newark, New Jersey. I'm in charge of international relations and diaspora affairs. Who doesn't know who Mr. Osel Okobaze is? He's one of our great Nigerians, uh, Igbo men, that uh, myself and Igbo person uh, look up to him uh, because he represents us well. Hello, my name is Joe Obi Okeke, a certified public accountant in the state of New Jersey, United States. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about my very good friend, Oseloka Henry Obaze. My name is Iwozo Obilo. Um, I'm a pediatrician by profession. I know Oseloka for many years. Um, he's always uh, there uh, whenever we're having meetings. As a husband to a member of the AMPA, he has given his ideas and contribute financially and uh, in advisory role as, as uh, a Nigerian, what we can do to help the people at home. Jose Luka was one of us here in, in the U.S. and he has left an indelible mark of excellence with us and he has now gone back to be there, to, be, to serve the people of Anambra State Government. And I applauded his courageous decision to do so. Right now, he is going in for the next position, which is to be the governor of Anambra State. He possesses what I consider the most important attributes of a leader. And these include integrity, vision, the ability to listen to people and consider the opinions fairly, and above all, he cares deeply about the common man. So he's a great guy, he's a great thinker, and uh, the last time I saw him when we launched two of his books, they are great books uh, full of uh, his visions, his ideas, and uh, which actually explains the caliber of man that he is. So he's a great guy that uh, uh, has the right vision. With all his experience here, mixing with the dignitaries and the UN and the different, from different countries, he really is the right person at this point in time to take Anambra State to the next height. We need people like him, not only in Anambra State, but in the entire Nigeria to really make Nigeria what it's supposed to be. The need to help the poor is always on top of his agenda. So he has emphasized the importance of us, Nigerians going to, to help the needy, more especially the poor. Obaze is a good family man, cares for his family deeply, just as he cares for the people who are less fortunate around him and he has been involved in organizing a lot of charitable work in this region and in, in Nigeria. He is a very, very good man that can lead that state. And we need people like him who can give us good governance because good governance attracts investments in, from overseas attracts the people in diaspora to come back and take a second look at the state. And I believe that the states are going to be the epicenters of development, that um, good states, well-governed states, will be copied by other states and the uh, progress from these days will spread to other parts of Nigeria. If he is not patriotic, he wouldn't have the vision to go back to Nigeria to give. So if every Nigerian who finishes education here, get knowledge here, goes home 
to have that idea and impact the growth of Nigeria is a patriotic Nigeria. Interacting with the man, you know, uh, his attributes, what he stands for, you know, he's a, a man of impeccable character. Uh, that is, um, is something we need, you know, something we need in Nigeria, a man that will lead by example, a man that will say something that, uh, that will deliver to the people instead of going there um, uh, stealing from the purse, you know. This, uh, here we have, we, are, we have somebody that is um, a great guy with integrity, with, uh, 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 like I said, impeccable character, you know. He's, he's like a mentor to me. And knowing him very well, whatever role he will play in the political position in Nigeria will be very positive uh, for Nigeria to go in the right direction. So we need people that like Obaze to be at one of these epicenters, and in this case, Anabra State. Now, the things that this next governor is going to do and elevate. We have issues with security, we have issues with healthcare, we have issues with the education, and all the social, all the social issues that we have. But that's why I want to deliver this message. As an Anambra person myself, I really, I am so thrilled. I cannot overemphasize how thrilled I am that the person of this caliber is going to be the next person that is going to take the, the um, state to a different level. Um, I am Barista Mrs. Ifezulike. Okay. I am a commissioner with the Local Government Service Commission. Okay. 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 And what do you have to say about Mr. Bajema? <laughs> I don't find the right words, <laughs> am I? I think he is a fantastic human being. Okay. Intelligent, yes, so okay. friendly, okay. handsome, okay. and the uh, most importantly, hardworking. Yeah. He's a good husband and father. Yeah. I knew him from far back Whoa. when we were kids. Okay. So I do respect him. Okay. He's a man of integrity. Okay. I know for a fact that the man that I am married to will take Anambra State to a higher level. My family, my children, and all our friends know, and everybody who knows will say, co-workers and all alike will tell you. He says, he does what he says. His yes is yes, and his no is no. Give him an opportunity in Anambra State to show you and take the state to a higher level. Thank you.